The Securities and Exchange Commission has filed a civil lawsuit against SAC Capital Advisors CEO Stephen Cohen for failing to properly supervise former employees accused of insider trading. The SEC has filed many inquiries into SAC resulting in more than $600 million in civil penalties. But this is the first accusation against the billionaire CEO Stephen Cohen, whose net worth is worth more than $9 billion. SAC might be coming under the scrutiny for its sheer size and suspected too-good-to-be-true returns. On any given day, the company's actions can account for as much as 3% of the New York Stock Exchange's daily trading. One of the two cases the SEC says Cohen ignored red flags came in 2008 when an employee got a tip Elon and Wyeth was creating a new Alzheimer drug. The tip resulted in more than $275 million in profits for the firm, according to the SEC. The other alleged insider trading move came when SAC sold off $11 million of Dell stock just prior to a less-than-expected earning report was released. Both former employees charged in the insider trading case have pled not guilty. Cohen has also said he is innocent of any wrongdoing in both cases. If the SEC finds Cohen guilty, the hedge fund tycoon could face a much stiffer penalty than any monetary amount. They can effectively put him out of business. Um, he will not be able to manage a hedge fund if in fact they have found that he has failed to supervise. A New York law firm did a survey about just how common inside trading is in the financial industry. It found 24 percent of respondents from financial services industry said they would participate in insider trading if the payout was in the millions and an attorney for that law firm calls for more regulation. In Wall Street, in Bay of London, there are still bad apples and we can't expect them to just not be there because they're they're you know, they're over the, the banks that they work for, say that they're not. In the SEC's civil cases, fines and a lifetime ban from trading are the most severe of the punishments possible, but jail time could be possible if the Justice Department gets involved. For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez.